The second way that we express our set answers is in what we call set builder notation. And this works for sets that are hard to list everything. For instance, the set of whole numbers. Now, if we wanted to list these all individually, we'd take a long time because we'd start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and very quickly we realize we're never going to get there. So in roster notation, we can use the ellipses to say, hey, keep going in this way. But that doesn't work all of the time because it can be hard to specify the pattern, which is something we're going to talk about a lot later. So what we want to do instead is we're going to use set builder notation. And the way this is set up is it's the set of all elements x with a vertical line and then x has property p. Let me write this differently. x has property p, whatever p is. So for instance, for this set, we could write this as the set of all x, and we read this line as such that x is a whole number. And now, I've done my set builder. So this tells me the condition, and if, it meets, if a particular x meets that condition, then it's listed in the roster notation. It's just a little faster way of writing this. So, some other examples. The set of all x, such that x is a whole number, or a natural number, let's do natural number, less than 6. Now here's a case where we can actually build the whole roster. So we want natural numbers, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on, no 0. But we only want the ones that are less than 6. So these two sets are the same. Here's the roster method. And here's the set builder. One more example just to help. Let's suppose that x such that x is an odd integer. Integer. Okay, so we're going to put our 0. Nope, not 0. We'll put our 1, our minus 1. 3, 5, 7. We're going to need to dot, dot, dot because it's just going to keep going. Minus 3, minus 5, minus 7. Oops, dot, dot, dot. And here's our roster notation. Notice this one has two dot, dot, dots because it's going to keep going in both directions. So this is a much easier way to write our answer. Sometimes we'll need set builder notation. Sometimes we'll need set notation. As you're working on problems, we'll clarify which ones you need.